it's me, Z, and I'm back with another GTA 5 video. Alright, man, we got a sick ass money glitch for you guys. Doesn't involve any fucking cars. It does bypass the 45 minute wait as well, guys. We're basically washing apartments with the director mode glitch. Um, I wanted to go ahead and get a video out for you guys so you guys had a good, clear English tutorial um, to work off of. Uh, we are going to be doing some stuff with this on live streams um, as well, guys, as far as what we can and can't do. Alright, so please go ahead and hit the fucking thumbs up for your boy. Alright, man, I appreciate that, man. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate it. Join me on Patreon as well. Alright, so a couple things you're going to need for this glitch is you're going to have to have the Grove Street Garage with Franklin. Okay? You're also going to have to have a special character available in story mode. If you don't have one, you can get Jesse. He's usually right here at the pier, and you can unlock him there. But any special character will work. Also, you're going to want to have a second online character. And you are going to want to have a little bit of money if you don't own a lot of garages. Because you want to have the last three slots on your second character. As far as your apartments, the three cheapest garages in the game. Okay? So, we're going to get into that and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. But like I said, so you will have to have your second character. Okay, you also have to have three cheap garages at the on the last three spots on your list when you go to buy a garage. Alright? So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the fucking video. All right, so once you have the Grove Street Garage with Franklin, that's going to be this one right here, guys. All right, like you see, I didn't have it, so I just had to buy it. And uh, once you have this apartment, or, or this garage, rather, or you buy it, all you want to do is just make your way back outside. Alright, so once you've got that garage, what you want to do is pull up your phone, go hit square, go over, and go ahead and create a, a save spot, a quick save, okay? You know, make sure you don't have it on auto save or whatever. So you save it just like that there. Alright, once you do that, go ahead and go to your start menu, go to online, and go ahead and go to choose character. Alright, once you get in the character selection, you want to go ahead and choose your second character. Alright, once you choose your second character, you're going to load in GTA Online. At this time, this is when you want to get your apartments in order. Now remember, we want to have the three cheapest garages available in our last three spots. Okay, as you see, um, I had the, all the expensive ones, obviously, and they were stored with cars, so all them cars I had to send to storage because I was buying the smaller ones, uh, which are on the low-end category. Alright, so you just want to go to low-end. And just go all the way to the bottom where the cheapest ones are. Alright. Once you get down there to the bottom where the cheapest one is, 25 grand. Go ahead and select it and uh, select purchase. Alright. Alright, and remember I had an empty slot right here, so I just put it in that one. So remember, we're getting the cheapest ones. Um, the bottom three slots on the menu okay so if you have empties then all you need to do is just buy a bunch of cheap uh, apartments or garages because the goal here is to have the three cheapest garages on your property list okay as you see here I traded in my Wesley um, my freaking tower uh, apartment for a cheap one 
Now I'm going to go back and buy the next cheapest one because you can't have the same garage. So you have to buy the three cheapest ones. Alright. So once you purchase them, as you see here, uh, the bottom three are the ones you want to have the cheapest ones in the slots, okay? Alright, once you got that done, all you want to do at that point is go ahead and hold down on the D-pad and select Franklin, single player character, and go back to story mode. Once you load into story mode with Franklin, uh, what you want to do is go back over to Grove Street and go ahead and get a random streetcar and drive it in the garage. Alright, so once you drive that streetcar in, you just want to turn around and walk back out. Don't let me out of my fucking apartment here. I keep calling it an apartment, but it's a fucking garage. Alright, so once you make your way back outside, you should be able to hit your interaction menu and have director mode available. Go ahead and select director mode. Now when you load into director mode, uh, what you want to do at this point, make sure you pay close attention, is go ahead and go down and uh, go to online characters. Select your second character. As you see, my second character, it says it's my first character on screen, but it doesn't matter. If that happens to you, don't worry about it. Just make sure you select on your GTA online character 2. Okay. So make sure you select GTA Online Character 2 on the menu. Once you do that, you're going to walk out and you're going to spawn in director mode with your character, okay? Now once you spawn in director mode with your character, you want to wait a good 10 to 15 seconds. Alright. Now remember, like I said, it doesn't matter if it shows your first character as long as you make sure you clicked on GTA online character 2 you'll be okay alright so once you know you've waited a good 10 to 15 seconds um, like we have here because I did not edit this out now what you want to do at that time is go ahead and hold down on the d-pad and select go back to trailer Okay. Now once you select go back to trailer and you see your guy standing in the doorway is going to be kind of glitched out. You want to go to your profile. You want to go to recent activities and you want to select um, a, a mini game, a deathmatch, a job or something you did in recent activities and select start GTA online right here. Once you do that you're going to come back to this screen and you want to decline this alert. Okay make sure you decline that alert then hit circle one more time okay once you hit circle one more time you go down to special characters you select your special character I'm using Jesse and you're gonna select him and you're gonna be frozen at this time it's very important you wanna hold down your interaction menu you wanna hit up on the d-pad five times you won't see it but you have to listen for the click once you hear that fifth click, you hit X, and then you hit up on the D-pad one more time, and hit X. And then it will, you'll be un, unfrozen, okay? Once you're unfrozen, all you want to do at that time is go ahead and go to online, join friends, okay? Now, as you see, we're spawning down in the GTA Online lobby, and we have director mode in our top right corner. That is what you want. If you do not see director mode there, then you did not do it right. Okay? So if you have director mode in there, you're on the right track. Go ahead and pull up your phone. And go ahead and go to the Dynasty 8. And go to Property Listings. And now you want to select the three most expensive properties. Okay? So now basically what we're doing is selecting the three most expensive properties. And we're going to replace the one, the three cheapest ones, okay, the ones at the bottom of the list. Alright. 
So as you guys see. Now see, basically, it's not taking money from us because we're in director mode, okay? So it's not costing us to buy these expensive properties. All right, so once you bought the three most expensive properties, having a hard time finding the fucking most expensive, third most expensive one here. Here it is. All right. trying to go a little slow for you guys so you guys can keep up all right so once you replace those three cheap properties that you purchased with the three most expensive properties all you want to do at that time is go ahead and hit up on the d-pad and select Franklin okay once you do that you want to close your GTA application when you load into the sky when you close your GTA app you just want to reboot it and as soon as you see the lady with the peace sign start to disappear, hold L1 and R1 to recalibrate your screen. That makes no fucking sense. Just like that. Alright, once you do that, if you have to accept the guidelines policy or whatever, go ahead and accept that. Once you do that, it should load you back in GTA Online, as you see right here. Now, all you want to do at this point, guys, is go ahead and go to the properties. And you want to go back to the low end of properties and go ahead and buy the three cheapest properties. Okay. As you see here, it's 26,000. And when we go to buy, it's going to give us the um, a trade in price. As you see right here at the bottom one is 500,000. Oh, yeah, That's what we're going to get back for selecting that property. Okay. So remember, we got three of them. Boom. That's one. So that's 500,000. Now I'm just going to select the next cheapest property again. Okay. And now you just want to put it in the next spot. All right, right here. Bam, 420,000. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go back and buy the third cheapest property. Where's and once you buy it, you're going to put it in the third spot. Okay? You know what? I'm actually re just like I'm that. recording a video another 420, right now, so I'm actually going to make it. That's it. As you see, we made about 1.5 million. An English and once you get used to this glitch, guys, you can just rinse and repeat. It doesn't take very long at all. all right, and so you can make some serious money. That, do it while you can. Money, all right, so no, once you do that, all you have to do at this point, guys, is go ahead and select Franklin again and load back into story mode. Okay? When you load back in story mode with Franklin, all you want to do is load back in director mode. Okay? And then just repeat the steps and do the glitch over the again. Okay, slaves, guys? Uh, um, it is pretty simple. Um, you know, you got to pay attention when you can't see your interaction menu. You hit up five times and then you hit X, hit up one more time, hit X again. And that's going to unfreeze you, okay? So take advantage while you can, guys. I'm your boy and I'm out of here. Peace. Thank you.